Hi everybody, and welcome to the Getting Started with InstructBot tutorial video series. In this video, I'll be showing you what play sound commands are used for and how to create them. This is the OOF play sound command I've created in the configuration I use. When triggered, it plays an OOF sound effect. I have the command set up so that it's executed when someone is banned. If you instead wanted to trigger the command when a different command is executed, you do not need to assign a trigger. For example, I have a multiple grenade sound command, which plays the sound effect of three grenades being thrown. I have attached this as the start sound effect of my grenade command. As such, when the grenade command is executed, the multiple grenade sound command will also be executed. This gives you a brief overview of how a play sound command can be used. I'm now going to switch over to my tutorial configuration and walk you through how to create the oof play sound command. Press the add button, you should set the name and description to something appropriate for the command. In this case, I'm going to name it oof sound and describe it as plays an oof sound when someone is banned. The active application required dropdown controls if the command will be executed when the active application has input focus. You can choose required, unrequired, or default. Required will ensure the command is only executed when the active application has input focus. Unrequired will not check to see if the active application has input focus and instead just execute the command. Default will resolve to required or unrequired depending upon the command type. By default input, mute sound and swap mouse button commands all require an active application. As a play sound command doesn't, I can leave it on default. Always on controls if the command is considered active, even if not contained within a profile attached to the active application. As I'm going to be adding the command to my common profile, I'm going to leave this disabled. Public controls if other users of InstructBot can download the command. If you want to share this command, toggle it on. File path allows you to select which sound file is played when the command is executed. You can choose the sound file by pressing the open button, navigating to it, and then selecting it. Please note that if you ever move your sound files, you will need to update the file path of the command. You can play the sound by pressing the play button and stop playing the sound by pressing the stop button. The volume slider controls the level at which the sound file is played. Please note this is in addition to the master volume in the options. For example, if your master volume is set to 50% and the volume of the command is set to 100, the sound file will be played at 50%. This way you can level your sound and then make individual sound commands louder or quieter. As my oof sound is a little bit quieter than my others, I'm going to set it at 110%. You can change the master volume by opening the options and navigating to sound. You can also set the device the sounds are output to hear by changing your output device. The cooldowns control how often the command can be executed. The global cooldown applies to everyone, whereas the user cooldown is per viewer. For example, if you set the global cooldown to 5 and the user cooldown to 60, the command can be executed at most once every 5 seconds, but a single viewer will only be able to execute once every 60 seconds. As a command will only be triggered when someone is banned, I can leave these both on zero so there's no cooldown. The help settings control if the command is shown with the default help command or a specified help command. As I don't want to show this command, I will leave the use default untoggled and the command set to none. The Q settings control how the command is executed. By default, all play sound commands are executed on the same Q in the sequence they are triggered. I want this OOF command to be available in all my applications, so I'm going to link it to the common profile. I only want the command to be executed when a person on my stream is banned, so I'm going to create a banned trigger. As I don't need viewers to be able to execute the command from chat, I don't need to assign an identifier. The only thing left to do is enable the oof command so that it can be used. And then press apply to save the changes. This wraps up how to create a play sound command. If you'd like to learn more, please look at other tutorial videos in this series, visit our website, or join our Discord. Links to both the Discord and website are in the description below.